time that we think we're done sanding and then wiping stuff down, we're like, oh, there's one more thing. So I'm gonna sand everything in this taped area, 220 lightly. It's just so the non-skid has something to really grab onto. And I will not fall into this hole. that I've done because it's been a lot but I'll show you guys not the polishing <laughs> yeah. I've done. it doesn't look like a lot but it takes a while I was gonna say what I've been doing is not worse than what Tommy's been doing I'm so glad to be almost done to get this we did 80 grit sandpaper and worked our way to 2000 then pre-polished wiped down over here was the same process, but we did the final polish and it came out this deep mirror finish and that's what we got going on over here. But yeah, it's just basically this for hours of polishing and we didn't have to throw anything away, so that's cool. And uh, budget baby, just a little bit of elbow grease. Who are we to throw it away? I know. Yeah, that's crazy. I mean, the old AC, goodbye. Yeah, I mean, okay, tech and stuff like that, <laughs> but metal that can easily just come back to life, I think it's good to save it. And it's all original, you know? I'm not about that, that throwaway culture, you know? Just throw it away, buy a new one. We made of Benjamins, dollar dollar bills, y'all. Are you eating the polish? Yeah. <laughs> Tastes so good. Last week, I was finally able to put all the tape down on the deck and get all the little details like corners and everything taped up so that I can start sanding and then painting the non-skid onto the deck. And of course, like the weather changes every freaking 10 minutes. finished sanding and wiping down all of the decks. Tomorrow I'm gonna start the day off by painting non-skid and we'll bring you guys along for it. So I'm gonna try with this one first because I've seen videos of the most people using just foam and then I have this one too that I can try after if I don't like the way this is applying. With most of the products that we've used on the boat, the number one thing people say to do is light coats. Let that cure, dry, and then second coat, third coat, however much you need, but the doing light coats is heat. And we just went with white total tread because the other colors for our deck just wouldn't have looked right with our paint colors, so. Yeah. We just went with white, so you really won't even be able to tell that there's a massive difference, you'll be able to feel that there's a massive difference. So the first thing 
that I notice about the non-skid paint is it doesn't stink like all the other paints that we've used. And it rolls on really nicely. I don't think we're gonna do a roll and tipping at all. I don't think it needs tipping with the paintbrush. And it goes on thin, but you can see the non-skid material in it. It's really nice. I'm done with the top. That was super fast, did a light layer. And now I'm gonna move on to the bow and then I'll do the stern. I don't know why I'm going in that order, but it just seems right, so that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna save lives. This was the oh. first coat of the total tread. We have it on the two deck hatches and all the decks on the boat have that thin first coat. How many coats are we thinking? Two or three. Two. Um, yeah, so we will check back in in a few days. The tread and we just followed the pattern of the original tread line so this gap was always there and there's a matching one on this side and yeah looks great came out so even if I were to recommend anything to people doing this is to definitely Take the time to do three coats. It looks honestly better than I thought it would. Oh, were you worried about it? <laughs> no, I just didn't know that it was gonna look this good. This looks almost even better than the original. All the tape is off, and we are officially ready to move forward. <laughs> 